we have two substances. One is called top and one is called DHT. They're both in test tubes with cold water that is 19.4 degrees Celsius. And they're both frozen solid. We will now heat them up to see if the freezing point is the same as the melting point for both substances. The two substances are in what state? They are solids. As we heat them up, what is going to happen to the two solids? Then they will melt and turn back into a liquid state. They will melt and turn into a liquid state. Okay? The temperature is going to go up. This is the temperature. Raise your hand. What's going to happen to the temperature once the substances start melting? What's happening to the temperature, Sydney? The temperature will start to be stable for a little while. When? Once it's starting to melt. Okay. When melting occurs, the temperature will be the same. Melting point is about 70 degrees. The VHT is all melted. Whereas the top substance is not completely melted yet because its melting point is higher. It's at 83, 84 degrees. What's going to happen? Austin. Tell me what is going to happen first when I take away the heat. The water, the VHT, the top are all at a temperature high above their melting point. What will happen when I take away the heat? Sorry. The temperature will start to drop. Give yourself a towel, please. Until when? Until when, Nick? It reaches the plateau and starts to freeze. What point right now? Would it be freezing or melting point that we would be looking for? Now we would be looking for the freezing point because now it's cooling. Okay? And the temperature of the BHT is at 82. Okay? Okay? It's stuck at 83 degrees. And you can see this. If you look closely over here, you can see that the top is freezing. And the BHT is not. Because the BHT has a 70 what? 70 degrees Celsius. Whereas the freezing point of the top is what? 84 degrees Celsius. Okay. For the substance top, the freezing point is equal to 83 degrees Celsius, which is also equal to the melting point. There is a plateau at 83 degrees Celsius. For our freezing point, we are taking away heat, and for the melting point, we are adding heat. For the substance BHT, the freezing point was at 70 degrees Celsius, and the melting point was also at 70 degrees Celsius. At 70 degrees Celsius, we saw once again a plateau. For the freezing point, we took away heat, and for the melting point, we added heat. This does indeed prove that the freezing point is the same as the melting point for both substances.